I'm gonna walk you through today a process for knowing exactly which Facebook groups you should be focusing on to find clients, to find leads for your business as a service provider. There are so many Facebook groups out there and actually knowing which ones to spend your time in, which ones are actually gonna be the most fruitful for you is really, really an important decision for actually making your Facebook group strategy work in the first place. There are, again, so many Facebook groups that contain your ideal client and I think a lot of people miss out on having any real strategy around Facebook groups just because there are so many to choose from. And I think this is one of the biggest hurdles of, you know, people don't spend time in Facebook groups, even though they can really get you some great leads and great clients because there's just so many to choose from and their decision becomes really overwhelming. But I'm going to walk you through a process today of figuring out for whatever business you're in, whatever industry you're in, whoever your niche and ideal client is, is a process for how you should figure out, you know, where to actually spend your time to know which groups are going to get you the most potential clients, which groups are going to be the most profitable, the most fruitful for you to actually spend your time in as a service provider. The first thing you want to do and the first criteria you want to go through is I want you to find medium sized groups. Now there's a lot of small groups which are typically found as being built around one person. So they're typically focused on one person's created this. A lot of people are there for that one specific person. Um, so often those smaller groups um, can tend to be just a little bit too small where you know they haven't really grown to the size where there's enough interest in other services and people asking other questions to the people within the group yet. But on the other hand, large groups tend to be filled with quite a bit of spam. There tends to be quite a lot of posts there. And also the engagement doesn't tend to be the best um, in those really, really massive groups just because there's so many people and so much volume going out at a time. So have a look at the overall general size of groups in your industry to establish what small is for your industry and what large is. So take a look over just some groups you can find, make a list of all of them, and then you can see kind of the top and bottom ends of where are the small groups, where are the big groups. And then I would say really pick some of those medium sized ones to start with and start playing around with and see, you know, go through those other steps, which I'm about to walk you through for those medium sized groups there specifically. The second thing to do is just take a look, scroll through and see what is the engagement actually like in those groups. So firstly, are people actually posting valuable questions in there? Are people actually commenting on posts as well? Or are there, you know, is it the case where there tends to be a good amount of posts, but there's crickets in the comment section. There's no one engaging, no one commenting. And um, again, we really want a group in the middle where we don't want the comments to be flooded. We don't want a hundred comments on every single post because it's really hard to stand out from those. Um, but also we don't want something where there's zero comments on every single post. So find something in the middle there where questions are being posted, people are engaging. It seems like a really good group environment, but also it's not too much it's not too heavy there's not a huge huge crazy volume that you'd never be able to keep up with and there's not 100 people commenting on every single post so try and find that good sweet engagement spot and just take a note through those groups that you're looking through of just which ones seem to have good engagement from there and then the third thing is really just try these out for a week just try these out go inside those groups, go through your strategy for those different groups, even if it's more than you're wanting to do on the day-to-day -day basis, go through those and just keep a note of which ones are getting the best responses for your strategy, whatever that is. Um, again, if you're looking for strategy support, definitely check out some of the other videos on my channel in the Facebook groups playlist because I have some specific strategy videos there. Um, but really take a look at which groups are you know, your leads coming from, which groups are you actually getting conversations in, which groups are you finding clients in, and then pick your final after really trying trying them out, pick your final three to five groups that you're going to be focusing on. So again, you can stay really focused, you can stay really concentrated, but you've also gone through the process to establish, okay, are these groups actually worth me spending my time in? So you can find the ones that are the most effective for you and the most likely to actually get you clients and actually get you a return on your time essentially for what you are spending here. So that is the process I would go through to figure out which Facebook groups you're actually going to find clients in, which ones are actually going to be worth your time spending, you know, that time in essentially, um, no matter what your niche is, no matter what your industry is, no matter what your, um, you know, job is as a service provider. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a like. Again, make sure you check out the other Facebook groups videos in the Facebook groups playlist on my channel. Make sure you subscribe as well so you don't miss the daily videos and I will see you in the next one tomorrow.